Okay, full disclaimer, this is the first of the digital SATs. So we don't really know yet what the strategies are gonna be for these, these double passage things. But here's what I think works for this one. The question sets us up to think about passage two first. So why don't we read passage two first, right? It says text two, how would that person, Focarelli and Panetta, two people, most likely respond to fans' findings in text one? So why don't we get what Focarelli and Panetta think from text two first? Why don't we just try to dumb summarize their thought? Then when we go into text one, we can have the, the text two people in mind as we read it. So we're gonna go to text two first. Economists Dario Focarelli and Fabio Panetta have argued that research on the effects of mergers on prices has focused excessively on short-term effects, okay, which tend to be adverse for consumers. Using the case of consumer banking in Italy, they show that over the long term, several years in their study, the efficiency gains realized by merged companies do result in economic benefits for consumers. So I might dumb summarize this on my scrap paper because I can't really do it nicely on the, on the uh, digital test, but uh, they're saying short term is bad for consumers, but long term is good. So now as I'm reading text one, anything about long or short term, my, my ear is going to kind of perk up a little bit because I know that probably is something that Focarelli and Panetta would respond to. So let's see, short term, bad, long term, good. When companies in the same industry propose merging with one another, they often claim that the merger will benefit consumers, okay, by increasing efficiency and therefore lowering prices. Economist Ying Fan investigated the, this notion in the context of the United States newspaper market. She modeled a hypothetical merger of Minneapolis area newspapers and found that subscription prices would rise following a merger. So if prices rise, that sounds bad for consumers, okay? So this seems to fit within the short term. So maybe this is going to have something to do with the long term in my answer choice, right? Because long term, short term doesn't mention in passage one, so probably matters in terms of the answer choices. Let's see. Um, they would argue that over the long term, the expenses incurred by the merged newspaper company would also increase. Okay, well, expenses increase. That sounds bad. But we know that long term is supposed to be good. So that just sounds like wrong for what they would say. B, they would recommend that FAN compare the near-term effect of a merger on subscription prices in the Minneapolis area with the effect of a merger in another newspaper market. Well, no, because these two guys in text two, their whole thing is about long-term versus short-term, not location, right? So Minneapolis versus whatever other city they choose, that, that's not part of their argument. They don't care. C, they would encourage fans to investigate whether the projected effect on subscription prices persists over an extended period, right? So they found that yes, short term is bad, but long term is good. So fan, why don't you investigate over several years what happens and then get back to us? That sounds like something that they would care about in text two. Let's try choice D though. They would claim that mergers have a different effect on consumer prices in the newspaper industry than in most other industries. Well, they certainly don't talk about most other industries, but uh, or any other industries really, but we should also focus on this word most. This is a very dangerous word on the SAT. It's a very strong word and we have to be careful because it means that we need to back up what we're saying with numbers. Most means 51% or more. And they're not talking about all the different industries and kind of aggregating them and saying, okay, 51% of industries this uh, merger thing is going to be good or bad. There, no one is quantifying this stuff, so we are not allowed to pick a choice that starts to quantify it. So C is definitely right. It matches with our dumb summary of what happened and our expectations of what they would say, and it does not have anything in there that we would say is too strong. So in this case, reading passage two first helped us better understand passage one and know what we were looking for in the answer choices.